Best guess who wears number 18 this year? Hmm. It's got to be got to be QB1, right? No. I was thinking maybe Joe Burrow. Nine times I'm, two I'm equals thinking, 18. I'm thinking Joe Burrow, man. Do you? Unless yeah. he wants to rock the unless he wants to rock the nine. Who else? Without Selfishly, I'd hate to see my him. quarterback in 18. I, I don't like Why? the number 18. All right, Ooh, I'm just gonna say it out that's loud. That's a hot take. I think Hester was. I mean, like he's been the coolest one. I like seven. Best guess who works. I yeah. said it. I said it, Lloyd. No need to replay it. Yeah. No need to replay it. We heard it. You know. Yeah, we heard it. And then karma happens when you go up against an 18, you know? <laughs> What's those voting numbers looking like? Anybody uh, got an update to polls time to concede? So, yeah, yeah, it's over. It's over. 52%. So, there. you know, that number 18 maybe has a little bit more clout. Yeah, you know what? I thought you got it back with Caleb on this year. I'm yeah. a big fan. I love 18. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, but Javon got yeah, to wear right. it. Yeah. Okay, I, I can't. That, I can't. I got to stick up for Jordy. That was before we, you know, yes, picked Lloyd and Kalevon, which were both really was, good. They number were eighteen. Great representatives. Great so, reps. Glad to do it for the team. Um, and then, don't, let me retract a little bit. Let me retract. I mean, you went all in. You were laid back. I was all in. Nobody's gonna listen to this show. <laughs> Ain't nobody listen to us. It was, that was summertime. Anyway, you know that was what I mean? Summertime. Like, just I get it, man. Yeah, no, no way. I mean, then the Twitter mentions start blowing. Then Benny Logan DMs me. I'm like, oh. Benny, Benny, smoke, smoke, smoke. Chill, bro. LSU We're coach? talking about post, day, post when you wore it. After so you, you were, man. So, some number 18 hurt yes. you. Some number yeah, 18 like, hurt bro. you at um, some point. It was more what 7 did to me. Okay. You know what I mean? Like, Because that's what I was totally doing. Totally different, yeah. That's what I was doing. I was comparing them. I love 18. Jake, you and I are tight, bro. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, that's why I will get today. The best part was so many people like sent that to me like I was going to be furious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Have had, you heard from Hester yet? Yeah. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I heard. We had a good laugh about I've heard it. From him. I've heard from him. But he's got, he's got I, take, the, I take that moment to, one, take a jab at you since I'm beating you currently right yeah, now. You're, and you're two, me. it's over. I want to know from you who you think on this football team would question. be a good number 18 Great because question. I've got a couple. I've got one on offense and one on defense. Shout out Dick Dixon, too. Um <laughs> <laughs> um, cover all those bases. Yeah, right. yeah. Let's, let's let me, going let me, back let me in touch his everybody head. real quick. Like, hey, everybody hey. that was looking for me, let me make sure. I mean, we're on CST quick. now. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. Does Denver get CST? Matt Ma cleaning somebody's yeah, teeth, Matt. watching CST right now. Uh, <laughs> are we live in Denver? <laughs> I don't know. Um, congratulations, by the way. Bro. Oh, thank you. Um, Eighteen this year. Um, look, I, I, so first off, I think you got a couple. Of, you got a couple of representatives. Uh, I think the, the the ones that make the most sense. Are, are are the seniors on this team that are coming back? I think that Jacoby Stevens jumps yeah. first to mind. I might I might have jumped the gun on that one. National Championship Parade. I'm interviewing Jacoby on stage, and I, I literally said it in front of everybody, like fifteen thousand people that were there. That you announced the governor. He's be the guy. No, I said you know he'd you look gave him good. A strong okay. vote. I said he'd look well, good in number eighteen. What? Hey, that that is a great that's a that, that's a great campaigning message for for Stevens to take back into to Marucci. To the people that, to you, I mean, like to, to your circle that said, look, I mean, for somebody that just sabotaged me with a clip, if I'm Jacoby Stevens, I would grab that clip from the national championship <laughs> celebration and say, look, one of the authors of it, one of the originators of it, the second to ever wear it in the lineage of 18 says that I'd be a great rep for it. Here in 2020, I think that that would be conversation over. So uh, Jacoby, to me, he has all, all all the things that you look for and the team leader and all those things. He's gone through some trials and tribulations, yeah. trying to find a position when he first got to LSU. But he's got some dog in him too. Sixth pick this morning. Too late. Say that again. He was the sixth pick in our top ten. Sixth. Well, uh, that, that, mm, right that's right. about yeah, about where I have him. Yeah, but he's the leader of the team. I think so. so oh, you go out to. Anybody. You got to anybody. Ask anybody. Yeah. And it wasn't and not only like this year. I mean, last year moving forward, I'll, I'll tell a quick story. I remember it was one of the one of the games in Atlanta where there LSU was blowing them out at halftime, either the SEC championship or the semifinal. Flip I don't know. They kind of kind of ran together there, <laughs> right. and guys were talking about, yeah, was, you know, second half, you know, kind of individual stuff, like you know, like hey, we're up so much, we're about to go, you know, make some money, make some. He's like, hey, uh, uh-uh, that ain't what this is about right now. It's about the team. And finishing strong, love that. And you know, doing team things right now. And I heard him say it to like some dudes on the team. You know what I mean? And so, for me, he's got that in him. But he also has the hit against Clemson. He also, you know what has, I mean? He also has the play against Mississippi State. Yeah, that cat jumped forty inches in a football uniform in competition. Yeah, I mean, it's one thing for y'all to do that at the combine in shorts yeah. and a t-shirt. When Not you y'all. Know- Twenty nine. <laughs> my bad. My bad. My bad. <laughs> but you ran through the test. You know what I mean? You knew you were going to jump. Yeah. You knew the date and the time you were going to jump. You trained for three weeks for that jump. Jacoby Stevens, in an instinctive moment in competition, 
full uniform, jumps 40 inches and snags an interception yeah. one-handed and nearly housed it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, if I'm NFL, if I'm a scout decision maker, like, forget what he does in the shorts and T-shirt. He did that yeah. in a game. And he talks just enough. Yep. See, that, that's like a little bit of the misconception. Like, yeah, you want to do everything the right way if you're number 18, for sure, on and off the field. There's no question. But that doesn't mean you can't have a little dog in yeah, it. Yeah, Caleb on, bro. Yeah, Caleb on had it. I mean. Lo- Lloyd Cushenberry yeah. had Don't You just don't, don't see let it. Lloyd sl- exactly. See it. And you don't hear it because of, yeah, of where he plays yeah, and the right. position he plays. But I love it. And so for me, uh, that that's a good one. You started with a good one. I agree, man. And look, Caleb on was, was a great rep. I mean, the, the fact that, that the, the moment – for me, when Caleb on, where just like I knew LSU was going to be something different was before the Texas game when he's just out there barking, knowing that it's going to be different. You know, I mean, we, we, we're we doing these big moment segments on, on OTB, like revisiting some of the biggest yeah. moments of 2019. Right. This morning was Florida. The first one last week was Texas. And the moment where I knew LSU was for real was the three-play drive in Austin going into half where the defense gets a big stop, yep. Stingley sets him up with like a 12, 13-yard punt return right around midfield, hit the out route to Chase on timing, hit the crosser to Jefferson in the middle of the field for a first down, then the back shoulder throw to get points right before. Yeah. I, that's when Burrow's looking at the Texas sideline, kind of like barking at yeah. him, like, I'm here all night. Yeah. I'll be here all night. Um, I mean, I got chills talking about yeah. it. it. It was... But but like Caleb on before that the mo you know before the night he was kind of setting the tone out there in yep. midfield no shirt just drinking their water it was awesome man <laughs> that's what I'm gonna miss so much about this team is just being able to yeah. talk so much trash oh. and being able to back it up if I would have been in an NFL locker room where bets oh. are plenty I would like, let me tell you something in 2011 what do you think Tyron Matthew was like in the Kansas oh. City locker room this year I mean like oh, Super Bowl champ national champ yeah. I mean. Oh. Dude, in 2011, I, I can't tell you the trash I talked and the money I, I made on side bets. And I bet. and after the championship game, I was already home because we'd been knocked out of the playoffs, so I, I didn't get any yeah. in, any bad beats <laughs> right. on that either. So See y'all next year. Uh, <laughs> I'll let you, boy. I don't know what you're talking about. Long time ago. Right. Long time ago. Uh, all, you have an offensive guy? Um, ooh, ooh, ooh. Chase? I, I, I say, well, he just moved to seven. Uh, yeah, so right. I say, ter- I say oh, Terrace Marshall. Oh, I love it. I think I Terrace Marsh would be my offensive guy. I love it. Think about that. Your yeah. two wide receivers, seven and eighteen. Yeah, that'd be pretty. That's, that's great. Yeah. In fact, you know what? Sign me up. I, I want Marshall as eighteen. And you know this better than I do. From the character standpoint, he checks yeah, every, every box. box. Yeah. I, I, on his official visit, and I didn't know him before, and I know he, he's from Bossier City, he's from right across yeah. the river from where I'm from, but I didn't. I knew who he was, obviously, but I didn't know him personally. And let me just tell you, he took his time. He saw me, and it's the first year that they could talk to former players. And I wasn't sure about that role, so I didn't yeah. know. And I asked somebody, because he was coming for me. I'm like, hey, can I, can I say what's up to this guy? Like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He comes up to me, and it was, it was sir. I was like, you don't have to do all that. But it was like he knew the, like, the history of LSU. Like all the guys from our area that have been at LSU looked me in the eye, shook my hand. I'm like, I don't know what we got to do to get this cat, but y'all need to Make sell sure some sunshine because this dude Make is sure the real him. deal. Now, and I'll say this, his quarterback was on the visit with him who ended up going to TCU, right. and body language was bad. It didn't look like he wanted to be mm-hmm. there, and Terrace was looking at everything. This is before all the new bells and whistles, too, and he was just looking at everything wide-eyed. And if you for, if you remember, he was the number one wide receiver yep. in the country compared to Jamar Chase yep. in the same class. Yep. I love it. I, and look, He's he is so undervalued at this point of where college football. I, I'm looking around, looking at some of the breakout players that people have for 2020. Yep. Some of the top wide receivers and Chase is stealing every headline, and he deserves it. But for whatever reason, people have forgotten about six yep. in Baton Rouge. And Tom Hart said it 30 minutes ago, and I believe it, man. If he stays healthy, he's another 1,015 touchdown guy last season. So uh, you you mentioned how comfortable Burrow was with him. Yeah. You know, it's it's great rapport. He, he he is he's I expect him to have a great season because of what you just said. He does everything right off the field, and he's a dog when when, when you kick it off. I, I'll ask you the same question I asked Tom Hart though. How much does not only Terrace have to step up, but Racy McMath and Trey Palmer and some of the other receivers to take some of that away from Jamar Chase? Because last it's, year it was so funny when teams would try to double team one of them, the other one would just go off. And I think you have that again this year yeah. because. We don't have a. There's no question mark around Terrace. Right. I don't have a question mark wondering if he can handle the load, if he can handle the work, because I know he can. The third wide receiver to me is one of the most intriguing spots on the field, and whether it's Racy McMath or Trey Palmer, I know you got a player there, yeah. right? And then John Emery, Chris Curry, TDP. 
I mean, coming out of the backfield, the way that they use him. And to me, the X factor is Eric Gilbert. I mean, Eric Gilbert, to me, is a day one, play one, game one starter, and I think he makes an impact. I tell this story every time. He committed the week of the Auburn game. Yep. Joe Brady, I asked him in the hall, I said, this tight end out of Marietta, my goodness, coach, his film's unbelievable. Is he going to make an impact next year? He goes, Colada, if he was dressed up on Saturday, he'd be in the game plan. <laughs> he said, I mean, like, this cat's a pro yeah. tonight. There's you know no question. I mean? And I'll tell you what. When, just watching his highlights, I'm thinking, oh, this guy's going to be like a, a, a toothpick. He's going to be a tall, rangy kind of guy who's Jake. pretty much playing a slot receiver. I see this cat. Does he look like Antonio Gates? You oh, play yes. with Gates. He to has me, the same body that's type. That's exactly what same Gates body looks type. like. Uh, it, it, if he buys in in the inline blocking like Thaddeus Moss did, that's a game changer. And let me tell you something. Thaddeus Moss w- would get in the nitty-gritty of it. Yeah. We were breaking down tape with him of the Auburn game, and we had his highlights, and it was a film room deal, and we wanted to show his tiptoe against Alabama. And we finish up, right? And he goes, hey, that's great, but can y'all put two of the uh, the blocks against Auburn in there? I'm like, which ones? He goes, the ones I'm going against Brown and, the, and Davis and those other cats. Can you put that in the film? I'm like, so wait a minute. You want to take some of the receptions out, and you want to put some of the inline blocking in? He goes, yeah. And that wasn't always Thaddeus Moss when he was at LSU. No, I mean, no. right? That changed because he bought into yeah. that, and he learned how to do it, and that was a weapon for LSU. So hopefully he has some of that in him as well.